dude, at one point, I'm like, I'll be totally honest. I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm fucking just tears rolling out of my eyes. And I'm like, what the fuck, you know? Because I was like releasing this trauma that like, because the body keeps the score, man. So like I was like, I was releasing that trauma. So this, this light thing and someone's guiding, like what is it doing to your mind? It like, took me, I was able to go into this. So I was able to go to my young self, to the young Derek. And I was able to like comfort him. Whoa. And like it helped me grow as a person because I was stuck in that trauma. Whoa. Stuck there. I was like, st I, I couldn't grow. You can't grow unless like, like I got to, I had to like let him know like you're safe. You're good. It's all good. It's, it shit sounds wild, but it, it's real, man. I really fucking did that. Like, and then we got in, into it deeper because some of the, some of my like frustration in life is not knowing who my father is and knowing my ancestors because that's like important to me. So we were like dug deep and this is before I ever did any kind of ancestry DNA shit. And we dug deep into this, into these past lives. And I went, I, it took me into this fucking Viking camp. And I was, dude, it's fucking wild. Like, I'm going to get into it. People are going to like, be like, you're fucking nuts. But so I'm are you, you what, under hip, no, like, what does it's it like, feel like? It's, are you being hypnotized? You're, it feels you're like in, you're in a dream. You're in a dream. I felt like I was in a fucking dream. Are and your it, eyes closed? No, your, your eyes, eyes are open. open. My eyes are open, but like the lights kind of like, you can't see anything but the lights. So your mind is like the only thing that's really working and, and you're in your breathing. And then you can hear this woman. And then like, I go into this Viking camp and I'm there and I'm like with my, my woman. Right. And I'm getting ready to go to war. She's like putting me in fucking armor and whoa, or not armor, but putting my like fucking hide, like this wolf hide or something on me, you know? And then I grab my fucking ax and a, and a shield and I go to war and I'm out there fucking like, like murdering people out on a fucking battlefield, just going ham, you know, just fucking axing people. And like, it was crazy. Like, so you felt this. I like, could feel it. I could feel it. It was like I was doing it. And then when I came out of that, when it, when I, well, I was betrayed in this fucking in the dream. I was betrayed by my brother. Whoever my brother was, he, bet he they betrayed me because they didn't want me to marry this woman because she was like, to them, you know, she was like, they couldn't control me anymore. Whoa. So they, I, so they didn't want me to marry this woman, and I did, and then they fucking had me killed. This was all in, the, in this. Did I wait? I wake up because my head was getting chopped off. Holy <laughs> shit! That's what woke me up. Holy shit! <laughs> Isn't that fucking crazy? Has that ever happened before or since? No. There was no. one time. Yeah, I just did it. I well, I did like three or four sessions, and like that was the last session, because I felt like I had found the roots, you know, of like the trauma. Wow. So I fucking like. I, I, I wonder if that's in there, man. So I that mean, made me, I was like, this is fucked makes up. Sense. Oh, I know that the mind, like, I know that your mind, your mind is the most powerful tool you have. So I know that it can play tricks on you too. And like, I watch movies and shit. So like, I was like, this shit could have just came from a movie, right? So I was like, let me do some DNA. Fucking Scandinavian all the way through. <laughs> of course. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. We were, I came from Scandinavia. <laughs> we went, my, my bloodline goes from Scandinavia. Germany and Ireland, and then straight to fucking Appalachia. <laughs> wow. So. Wow. Holy shit. Just all around Viking. I just, you know, pe people will dismiss that. They'll dismiss it as imagination and dreams and stuff. But I just wonder how much you, ca you carry. I mean, you, obviously, some information is transmitted. It's transferred from your genes into your children. There's some that's it. Oh, yeah. Some of it is from them learning, being around you. How do you, you think they know how to work a fucking phone so, at three years old already? They know how to fucking swipe it and, like, it's like they just know. I think that's just easy for those young, pliable minds to learn. You don't they, think they you don't know think that, do shit that I don't know. You don't do. think that that's passed down at all? I don't know. I think the technology stuff. Like, well, why are some people good with fucking computers? And like, dude, I get a computer and I want to snap it in half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I I think some of it is probably passed down through the parents. I mean, they think like musical talent. Like, oftentimes it's. But then you got to go. Well, they probably grew up in a musical household too. That probably contributed to it. But what you're you're talking about is something way more intense, and it makes me wonder. I mean, when people do have those past live dreams or i always wonder if that's bullshit like there's always some little kid that can speak german that can tell you a story or they grew up in the during the war and you're like what like you're four yeah like there's a few of those but the, i never know if those are real stories have you ever read any of those that are like very compelling i've looked into this heavy one time there's a <laughs> there's a guy a, a doctor a, a, an actual person out of college that's been studying as many cases as he could find about this and i can't remember his name i can look him up 
he's got the info. And, and what does he say? I think he says it is accurate, but there's levels to it. There's different parts people remember. You can't force the, ch the child to go through it. You kind of just have to like let them say what they remember. And as soon as you start asking things, it freaks them out. Sometimes they start crying. But there's one I remember hearing. He was remembering stuff about this guy, this World War II pilot's friends that he had. He remember he like almost named the ship I think they were on. Whoa. This guy, like he died in a plane crash. He was shot down. He was having all these memories of it. But they went too far with it, I think, is also what happened. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about now. Oh, wow. So there's levels to it too, but... I always wonder because I always wonder like how how much is trans it, it makes sense if these beings want to evolve and learn that you should have the lessons of the people from the past they should be inside of you in some sort of a way there's some sort of knowledge that gets transferred to children it just makes sense right but if that's the case you're gonna have the most traumatic memories are gonna be burned in there mm-hmm because you it's it's and then, like, even the ones that you experience in life, you bury those in your subconscious. Yeah. Right? So, like, when you're... I think it's what? From okay. This is the doctor, He's Dr. Now, Ian so Stevenson. It's still going Shit. on. There's, the studies are still going on. Division of Perceptual Studies at Virginia, I think, is where most of the research has been happening. Wow. A lot of... A lot of, <clears throat> a lot of studies have gone into it. Some people are bullshitting, obviously. For sure. But there are many cases of people that seem to be not bullshitting. Deathbed, oh, so back deathbed visions, a lot of stuff. Various types of extrasensory perceptions, such as telepathy, apparitions, and deathbed visions. After death communications or ADCs, poltergeists, experiences of persons who come close to death and survive, usually called near death experiences, out of body experiences, and ch children's memories of previous lives. Wow. That's wild. When you get a real scientist that's studying shit like that. Yeah. Because you got to wonder, like, it's so easy to dismiss those things. It's so easy to dismiss it. But the human mind and its just ability to acquire information and store it in there and to, to, to be able to remember things, like, all that is weird enough as it is. I don't think it's that weird that those memories would transfer to children. No, it, may, I mean, it makes sense to me. It does. Like, what the fuck do I know? You know. Well, you have that. <laughs> you have a memory that's pretty fucking intense that completely makes sense when you look at you. <laughs> yeah, man. It's so I just fully embraced it, man. I got fucking mm. Odin tattooed all over me, and oh fucking nice, big Odin, big fucking Raven with the Odin sign on my chest and shit. Like I just full I Viking, fucking full went on, went into it, man, and just embraced it. So it's given me like a lot of peace, just kind of like. Knowing where you came knowing from. Knowing where I come from, right? Mm. Because I, just, I didn't know what that, I don't know anything. 